Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Afil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Title, you guys, of this prophetic word is you've got the advantage and the upper hand. You've got the advantage and the upper hand. Let me jump off into this word, you guys. So, you guys, the Lord is providing so many signs, wonders, words, and miracles on today. And so, you guys, I had received my mail on today and I saw the word advantage. And the Holy Spirit began speaking and auctioning in my spirit. You've got the advantage and the upper hand. Then the Lord showed me the word ground for groundbreaking and gave me revelation of that particular ceremony along with ribbon cutting. And the Lord actually showed me the shovel they were using in the Prince and Me movie when a new business was actually established. The Lord has said that had been your portion. You've got the upper hand because his hands are on everything that you do and his hands are on you and the advantage because you walk according to his plan. Then the Lord gave me the revelation of ribbon cutting with scissors. So, you know, this is your upper hand plan of establishment along with settlement. The Holy Spirit is saying first Peter five and 10 after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be, what you were promised, purposed, and predestined to be. Isaiah 41 and 10, do not fear anything for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured, I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand. A hand of justice, a power of victory, of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is your opportune time to shine along with you walking into your fruitfulness and your new wine. You have entered your time of promotion as well as increase. Ecclesiastes 5 and 11. When good things increase, those who consume them increase. So what advantage is there to to their owners? Excuse that. Ecclesiastes 5 and 11. When good things increase, those who consume them increase so what advantage is there to the owners to see them with their eyes this is your season of profitability this is your season of productivity this is your season of multiplicity you are taking your rightful place you are taking your right standing you are walking into your seat and you are walking into your authority. You are walking into your seat. And you are walking into your authority. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, you stand for something and you did not fall for anything. And this has brought about your advantage as well as your changes in your life. The Lord is saying, because you seized the opportunity and you made a conscientious decision to live in the moment. You understood that it's not left up to a matter of chance, but it's left up to a matter of choice. And you made the choice to follow God. And this gave you the upper hand and this as well gave you the advantage. Galatians 6 and 10. So then, while we as individual believers have the opportunity, let us do good 
to all people, not only being helpful, but also doing that which promotes their spiritual well-being and especially be a blessing to those of the household of faith born again believers that you are under the shadow of his wings and in his righteous right hands seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the father so you have plethora of privileges you have the creativity you have the gifts you have the ability you have the talents you have the upper hand that's catapulting you to the next level once again, according to God's plans, the advantage to walk in your uniqueness of what he created you to be, knowing that you were chosen for it via destiny. The advantage because the Lord is in charge of our system protocols. And you're walking according to his plans, his statutes, his precepts, his laws. You have the total package you have top priority and you are, as well have the benefits package because you're on the winning side and he loads us with benefits daily. He loads us with benefits daily. Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the plans I have towards you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. Know that you've got the advantage and you've got the upper hand because you're up under the Lord's statutes. You're up under his laws. You're up under his precepts and you're up under his commands. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome. And to all of my new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has edified, exhortated, and exalted your life in such a phenomenal way by the special grace and mercy of God. Know that you have what it takes through your intentionality, through your originality, through your authenticity, excuse me, you guys, that you have that benefits package, that you have that plan that will stand the test of time because you're up under the Lord's commands. And when you're up under his commands and up on his system protocols, he's going to change it all. You're going to be lifted higher and higher and higher and higher and higher because it's a mandate. You were destined, promised, and purpose for it. Know that you've got the upper hand. You've got that upper hand. The Lord says... He's got it and it has you because you're on the winning side. As long as you're in him, you're going to get that sweet. You're going to get that fruitfulness. You're going to get that wine. You're going to walk in your timing and season in time of an arising and a shining. You're going to get those business opportunities to where you guys. It's going to be groundbreaking and there's going to be celebrations. I hear once again, congratulations. I see the ribbon where you're getting those sis to cut because this is your business opportunity. This is your opportune time to shine. That ceremony is in line. And the Lord has said you're next in line for that miracle because he's showing signs, wonders, and miracles along with words. Because he is the God of wonders and miracles. The Lord has want you to know to step out because this is your opportune time. Take advantage because this is a time of inheritance. This is a time of Lifting you to that promotional level, that next level dimensionally, because you have been in him. The Lord has been seeing your intentionality and the Lord is seeing that you know your worth and your value. The Lord just wants you to know that you were chosen and you were destined for this and you have not missed. That this is it. You've got the advantage. You've got the upper hand because you chose to walk According to the plans of Master Jesus, a covenant keeping God with him, there's nothing too hard. He's faithful to perform that right now. He's doing it because you chose to take your hands and put them in the master's hands and believe by faith that the Lord's got you and that he's going to see you through. You chose that opportunity just like Esther chose that opportunity. Just like Job chose that opportunity. Just like Noah chose that opportunity. Just like the three Hebrew boys. They trusted him and they believed in him. Because they trusted and believed in him in faith, he brought them out. 
And just like Peter walking on that water, a faith opportunity. You have that faith opportunity. You have that beneficial opportunity. You know that he owns it all. The Lord has said, take ownership and take possession because he has gave you dominion. He has gave you that authority. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of these establishments, of these settlements. Knowing that we are walking in increase and the Lord is providing our needs and our necessities because he knows that we're walking according to his plan. He knows that we walk by faith. He knows that we have tapped into it. The activation and that we have connected by his grace and his mercy, by his glory, his power. This is the hour and the time that we are walking firsthand. Knowing that we got the advantage as long and, and as well that we have the upper hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys once again. And we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.